<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the shadow knows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I compare the game Space Racer on the Atari ST and uh, the Commodore Amiga. And this is the Atari ST version. Just uh, so you can see uh, how bad the Amiga version actually is. The sound is better on the ST version. I really like the music, even though it's probably just a sample. Let's skip it. And yeah, loading times on the SD are generally not as bad as uh, on the Amiga. It already loaded and you can choose three different levels. I <coughs> take the first one. Hello. And it doesn't have to load. And I actually played this game back in the day on Yamiga. And the Amiga version is just a very lazy SD port. Ah, sound. Sound during the game is not as good as in the intro, that's for sure. And I really didn't like the game back then. I still don't like it. And yeah, this is one of the few racing games where you can actually overtake the other drivers or flyers. Yeah, these aren't the drivers, these are flyers. What else could a flyer be? Yeah, and I did a test run on the Amiga where I actually f finished the first race. I'm not sure if I won it. I don't know if you actually can win a race or if you have just to, to survive a certain amount of laps. And where are all the other flyers? There's one. And it doesn't feel very fast. It doesn't feel like I'm flying. Yeah, and the opponent flyers are very stupid. The regularly crash into the obstacle at the side of the, it's not a road, whatever it is, the track where you have to fly. Yeah. Ah, and this sound is really not good. controls aren't that bad, but the entire game is not really, really good. And how many laps do I have to fly? Oh shit. And those balls below the score, I think it's your, your energy.
or do you have to kill a certain amount of your opponent? I'm not sure how I won the race on the Amiga. And I'm not sure if I really want to know. Because it's not a very good game. It feels very choppy on the ST. And it doesn't get better on the Amiga. Seriously, what do I have to do to finish to finish this level? I know I can. Because I did it on the Amiga. Where's the finish line? Oh yeah, I'm almost dead. Yeah. I hope I reach the finish soon. Where's the finish line? Shit. What was that? Game over. Okay. I didn't reach the finish on, on the Atari. Maybe I reach it again on the Amiga, so let's have a look. But you can uh, select all three levels uh, at the beginning if you want to. If you really want to. Okay, back with the Amiga version. And it sounds a little bit thinner. And it doesn't impress as much as on the Atari. And yeah, it's a 1988 game. I really played it back then. And uh, yeah, that was the quality standard of games you've got if you had an Amiga in 1988. And the picture looks a little bit nicer because uh, ah, great. On the Atari, I had to pull up to gain altitude, and here it's like you would expect it from an aircraft. You have to pull down. To gain altitude and push forward to decrease altitude. Yeah. And I'm really motivated to play this game. But the controls at least feel more natural on the Amiga. But this is a very cheesy game.
There are hundreds of racing games on the Commodore 64 or the 8-bit Atari or the Spectrum or the Amstrad CPC that are more interesting than this. And visually it's also not very appealing for a 16-bit system. This looks a little bit like a Master System game. And it also sounds a little bit like a Master System game. Colors are bright, but not that many. And the game is really not that great. But there were quite a lot of cheesy racing games in the early days of the Amiga. And since I tended to like racing games, I played quite a few of those. So I was really happy with Test Drive. Not that it was a terrible terribly exciting game but at least it looked nice and it was playable and I played test drive quite quite a lot as you might have noticed I'm really not a big fan of this game controls really feel more natural on the Amiga And I wonder why they changed it. They didn't change too much else. And I don't give them the excuse that the systems were still quite new in 1988 and that it takes longer to learn a 16-bit system than an 8-bit system. This is not a good game. Yeah. And I'm actually glad when this is over. I'm not in I'm not enjoying this at all. Not only that racing games in general don't edge age too well. Both well, racing games just like any other simulation even though it's in the kart racing game which is not actually a simulation the more realistic uh, it looks the better it usually gets and also the physics in, in newer games feel uh, more natural. It's, it's just more in enjoyable in general to play a, a modern racing game than an old one. And it's really not enjoyable to play a bad old racing game. And is the frame rate actually higher than on the ST? This is actually more than just a lazy port and did they at least... Yeah, I made it again. Great. Did they at least utilize some of the Amiga's Hello. special abilities? <laughs> and yeah. This is the second course. But I won't, I won't play it. It's, the game is really hor horrible. And I really hate that your enemy drivers yeah <laughs> that's funny which you start with always get away from the starting line much uh, faster than you but anyways I stop it right here it's not a fun game so don't try it 
they are much better racing games. Like I bet on on both systems. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.